genuine Ogallala Bay Rum Shave Soap. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. One recommended by viewer Chuck Price. Thank you very, very much, Chuck. Really do appreciate it. Happened to come across it at the Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup. Hey, before we get to all that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, we have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. Here it is. Genuine Ogallala Bay Rum Shave Soap. This is one that was, has been recommended by viewer Chuck Price. And it really does have a beautiful, beautiful bay rum scent. Now, at the time Chuck was telling me about it, uh, I was considering getting it. I went to the Ohio Wet Shavers Meetup in Hilliard, Ohio on September 30th. And it was held at River's Edge Cutlery. And they have a beautiful section there of wet shaving gear. And on the shelves... Ogallala Bay Rum Shave Soap. I picked up the shave soap and I also picked up their aftershave. Now the aftershave is also indicated as a pre-shave, aftershave, and skin toner. If you can see that right there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this as a pre-shave and as an aftershave. Now I am going to clean the skin first with the Tube 2.0 from Phoenix Shaving, but I will use the uh, Ogallala aftershave as a pre-shave as well. Now I uh, found a shaving bowl to uh, insert this puck in. Let me show you the puck. The puck comes wrapped up in a nice plastic case. The cost of this was $6.99 at uh, River's Edge Cutlery. You can get this on Amazon for about a buck more and uh, wrapped up in plastic. So we're going to open this up and I do have a shaving bowl that will accommodate this puck. Oh boy. And that's a, that's a beautiful bay rum scent, and it is a really nice, hard puck. Very, very hard. Wow. Here it is right here. Here's my Charmin Shave Bowl right here. This is double walled stainless steel, and the puck seems to fit in there very, very nicely. So I'm going to add some really, really hot water to this, so it'll kind of get things going, and the double wall should keep everything nice and warm. So I should have something of a warm lather in there. Now I am going to do a brush load and I'm going to build my lather in the Timeless Razor um, Shave Bowl uh, only because I'm going to be using the pre-shave oil. And sometimes when you do a face lather with a pre-shave oil on your face, at least this has been my experience, sometimes the the soap and the oil don't play well together. So um, that's why we're going to uh, build a lather here. I'm going to load it from do a brush load here and then build the lather in here. That's the game plan. And then uh, moving forward, we'll see how things go with the uh, with the oil, the the, the pre-shave here. Pre I'm calling it a pre-shave oil. It's a pre it, it's a pre-shave. It's an aftershave cologne, but they have a pre It's got a pre-shave quality to it. I'm assuming there's a little bit of oil in there. That's my assumption. Haven't tried it yet. But moving forward, maybe we'll be able to apply that and then do a face lather right from here. We'll see. Uh, my uh, shaving brush is going to also be from Timeless Razor. This is their shave brush handle, their adjustable shave brush handle. Love this. I got a 28 millimeter synthetic knot in this that came from uh, Maggard's, uh, courtesy of viewer Alex Lopez. Thank you again, Alex. This is their white synthetic knot. I love this synthetic knot. 28 millimeters does a wonderful job. My razor is also something that Alex Lopez sent to the channel. Haven't used this one in a while. Like it a lot. The Dracant razor. Yeah. And it, uh, the angle of approach with this razor is 24 degrees, not 30 degrees. So a little bit of a different approach and feel to this razor. It does a wonderful job. We are going to use the Gillette 
Menorah Razor Blade. These came courtesy of viewer Beth Jones. Thank you very, very much, Beth. Going to finish it up, obviously, again, with the Ogallala Bay Rum Aftershave. And uh, a little bit of a Sterling Bay Rum uh, Aftershave Balm for upstairs. I do need a head shave, so I'm not going to use quite that much, but we'll use a little bit up there. And obviously, we're going to use a little bit of the GBS Alum Block here. Uh, prior to applying the aftershave. And I think that's got a kind of a lay of the land now. So I'm really looking forward to getting this shave going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot, 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 hot water in the shave bowl. And I'm going to let it sit for about the equivalent of a good hot shower. And then we'll come back and we'll get to the shave. So let me just get this water out of the tap. Uh, I'm waiting for it to get nice and hot. Hang on, it's getting there. <laughs> There it is. There's the soap right there. Oh, that's getting nice and hot. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. And while that's doing all that, I'll probably get my pre-shave done uh, with the tube 2.0, and uh, we'll let this sit. And uh, oh, that's good and hot now. Yeah. There it is, right there. Nice and hot. We're gonna set that aside. You know what, I'm just going to, I thought maybe I would do an edit here, but I don't think so. I think I'm just going to go straight right into it. We're going to put some hot water in the shave bowl here. Okay, I got some hot water. Just kind of getting that warm a little bit right there. We'll set that aside there. Let me get my uh, scissors and that little bit of excess plastic out of the way. I'll set that aside. And uh, we're going to wet the face. We're going to get to the shave. All right, so let me soak my brush here, and we're going to use the tube 2.0 to do a little bit of a pre-shave here. So we'll let that soak. It should probably, it'll probably soak for a, a few minutes, maybe, uh, probably the equivalent of a quick hot shower, I guess. I thought maybe I was going to let it sit and then come back. I thought, I don't know, now I'm thinking, we'll just do everything on camera. We'll load the razor blade and that sort of thing and that should be the equivalent of about five minutes or so that's my thinking okay let's rinse I wanted to do a lot of rinsing because I wanted to get as much soap off as possible because I wanted to uh, I want to apply the oil and let the oil do most of the work. So we're going to go ahead and install this razor blade right now. And uh, here is the blade right here. These are these are terrific. These are right up there with the Gillette Swedes that you can get at Bull Goose Shaving. These also came uh, from Bull Goose Shaving. So, these are terrific. Boy, these are terrific. These blades are terrific. There it is right there. Gillette Menorah. And here's the cap right here. Okay, set that in there like that. And here is my, my base plate. And I've already got my O-ring in place right there. Can you see that? Oops, don't want to, don't want to, <laughs> don't want to knock the camera. Are we okay? Yeah, okay, good. All right, so here we go with clamping that down. Boy, this is a beautiful razor. Love this handle too. The pattern on there is just gives it a nice grip. So there is the, uh, the balance and alignment. Absolutely spot on and beautiful. Really, really precisely, precisely made. And we have the end tabs enclosed in the razor head like that. All right, so we've got that all nice and cleaned off. And we're going to go ahead and I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just spray some into my hand here like this and apply it to my face as a pre-shave. And we'll let that, we'll let that just, wow. Boy, that's got a kick to it. Man, man, oh man. 
Oh boy, wow, that's got a kick. Probably, <laughs> oh man, wow. All right, there we go. <laughs> that has got a, that's got, wow, that's got a kick. That's probably too much. <laughs> oh wow. Woo. We're going to go ahead and load this brush. Yeah, I think that's too much, to be honest with you. Wow, that's starting to really heat up a little bit. Wow. Whew. Man, that's a pre-shave? Well, you know what? I, <laughs> I got to, hey, I got to, I got to rinse that off. That's too much. That is, that's way too much. Let me rinse that off. Wow, one minute, that's, whoa. That was far too much. That was like three or four sprays. You don't need that much. Wow, that's got a real kick to it. So we're gonna go ahead and go forward with the shade now. We'll build the lather. That's more than enough. I'm just going to use the, uh, <laughs> that was too much. Maybe, maybe one spray is all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. There, you know what? Now that I know how much, how potent that is, yeah, be careful. That is, my gosh, is that potent. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you saw that because... Word to the wise, all you're going to need is one spray for pre-shave and probably one spray for aftershave. No kidding, that's all you're going to need. That, that's, that's got a lot of kick to it. Man, that's got a lot of kick. All right, here's the uh, brush load right here, and here is the uh, bowl. I'm going to dump the hot water out of there. Let me show you what the uh, bowl here looks like with the uh, Ogallala Bay Rum Shave Soap in there. Okay, we're going to just pull out some more of that lather. My gosh, you know what? You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to do, right from here, I'm going to do a face lather. I'm going to do a face lather right here like this. Rather than build a lather in the shave soap, we're just going to go like this. There might be a little bit of that pre-shave in place, but most of it has been rinsed off, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to put a little bit of water on there. Oh, that's nice and warm from the sink water because I got some new hot water in there. Oh, that's now that's now that's got a really nice calming effect to be honest with you. Now, oh man, that's beautiful. Boy, this has like the opposite effect than that than that uh, pre than that uh, pre shave after shave. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, this has calmed my face down so wonderfully well. My goodness. You know what? I didn't need, I did not need the lathering bowl. Look at that. My God. So you know what? Look, one spray is all you're going to need for pre-shave. And it looks like I'm going to need one spray in the palm, one or two, a spray, spray and a half in the palm of my hand to apply the aftershave. I think that's all I'm going to need. Look at this. La I mean, look at that. Boom, lather. Check that out, huh? And I did a face lather. I'm doing this on the fly. This is the first time I'm using this, but I got, <clears throat> but I got to tell you, careful with this aftershave. You know, I'd have like maybe three or four sprays in my hand. You don't need that much, really. That's that was way too much. My good. Well, you know what? Lesson learned. Okay. Word of warning. Word of caution. And but I'm telling you right now, this is not only has a. A wonderful bay rum scent, but boy, oh boy, this calmed my skin immediately. That's wonderful. Okay, we're going to heat this razor up under some hot, hot water now. 
I have two days worth of beard growth. Did I mention that? Okay. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Okay. Oh, that's nice. All right. Now, usually I say 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Well, this is 24 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Here we go. Boy, that's a nice, smooth razor and a smooth blade. But I'm telling you, the shave soap really calmed everything down. Boy, that's marvelous. Boy, there's no tugging, there's no pulling. There's a nice smoothness there, a nice glide. Now, obviously, the razor and the blade have a lot to do with this, but again, this was a kind of a happy accident. Uh, the aftershave, which I use as a pre-shave because they say you can use it as a pre-shave, has a lot of kick to it, and I use too much starting the shave off. After rinsing it off, uh, there was still a real kick to it, kind of a little bit of a burn, but the uh, shave soap immediately calmed the skin down. That tells me, boy, it's got some really nice skin food ingredients. So, first pass done, let's rinse. Boy, I tell you what, I'm in socially acceptable shave territory already. This has been an absolutely delightful shave, despite the uh, the trip up, the uh, mistake, the error, uh, right as we started off there. My God, I should have tested that. But again, hey, I want to show you this in real time. This was surprising. And again, I am getting this beautiful creamy, rich, wonderful lather that gives you wonderful glide and uh, exceptional slickness. And it's just marvelous. I'm so happy I'm using this 28 millimeter knot from Maggard's because it really does a nice job in whipping up a lather and uh, the brush handle is wonderful. It just fits so nicely in the hand, but again, I'm getting a great, great lather. Now, I haven't face lathered in a long time, and boy, what a what a wonderful welcome change of pace. Wonderful to do this every once in a while. Again, I cannot emphasize this enough. The, uh, the, the, the richness, the creaminess, the yogurty quality of the shave soap, it is so, it feels so nice on the face, so agreeable. It, uh, it just has this beautiful calming effect. It, uh, it was absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm looking forward to my next shave with both the aftershave and the shave soap. And the next time around, I'm going to use maybe one squirt from the uh, bottle for my pre-shave, and then I'll go ahead and do another face lather, because I think I think the two will get along. I thought maybe, you know, do a bowl lather. No, I think I'm going to do a face lather again. 
next time around. All right, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. A lot of good cushion there. A lot of nice protection. Wonderful glide and wonderful, wonderful residual slickness. Boy, this has been a really wonderful shave. Again, off to a rocky start, but what a comeback, huh? Well, we haven't finished up yet. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Boy, that's, that's marvelous. That really is. Boy, that, that, the, the, the glide and the slickness, just beautiful. But again, just the, the calming effect. I, I, I know I've, I probably overused the word during this review. I'm sorry, but that's the only thing I can come to my mind. It just calmed the skin down immediately. It was wonderful. And it just has a great feel. Just so agreeable. And again, I have to assume that there are a lot of great skin food ingredients in this shave soap. Wow, that's nice. Boy, this razor does such a nice job of getting the upper lip. The first pass, it got probably about, I would say, 75%, but now it's just cleaning up the remainder. If you've never used a razor that uh, utilizes a 26 degree angle, you need to treat yourself to one of these. <laughs> this is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful shave with the uh, Dracant. Uh, 24 degree angles, 24 degree angle really is wonderful. Second pass done, let's rinse. Uh, the shave is done. Wow. And you know what? It's BBS. <laughs> no kidding. This shave soap is wonderful. The aftershave, watch out. <laughs> it's got, I'm telling you, watch out. Do not overdo it. It is, it's got a kick that was too much. But I'm glad that uh, the shave soap correct everything. I was, I was expecting almost a lot of redness, uh, you know, going into the shave after applying that. I thought, my gosh, my skin's going to get really red and irritated. No. Look. Oh, man. I'm excited. This has been great. All right, we're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. That's great. A lot of slickness to get rid of. And I have a towel here to kind of take care of uh, my hands if they get too slick. Wow, this has been great. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Beautiful.
Well, I think I found a really nice new Bay Rum Shave Soap that just, wow, what a shave, what a result. Maybe one little micro nick right here, I just saw that crop up. Can you see it? One, I thought I was, thought I was right there. I think it's a phantom nick, you know? One of those little nicks that you see afterward, you never feel it during the shave. And all of a sudden, there it is. See it right there? Can you see that? Just a little one. Just, I never felt it. I never felt it. But that's okay. That's what the Allen block is for. It'll take care of all those little micro nicks. Uh, knock down any irritation. Although, I was, <laughs> I really was expecting a lot of irritation after applying the aftershave as a pre-shave. Uh, that was too much. Man. We're going to run this Allen block under some hot, hot, hot water. Some GBS Allen block. And let's see where we're at. See that guy right there? Watch. Okay, there's no stinging or zinging. And there was no stinging on that little guy either. And here's a trick that I learned from viewers. Run this under some cold water for something like that, all right? And then you take this and you hold it there for about 20 or 30 seconds. Let's do 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Count along with me, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014. 2015, 2016, 17, 2018, 2019, 2020. There. That should close it right up. About 20, 30 seconds. And really, it does a great job. No stinging, no zinging. There was no zinging there. And it looks like that's closing up and it should be good to go. Let me show you the uh, shaving brush. I'm going to set this in the case right here like this. And just set that there out of the way. Let me show you this shaving brush here. Look at this. Here's the shaving bowl. It made beautiful amount of lather. Now, the puck did, as I was dumping the water out, it did fall into the sink. I had to throw it back into the puck and throw it back into the uh, the uh, shaving bowl here. But um, look at this lather. Look at this lather. Now, this is kind of, if I add a little bit of water to this, this is going to come right back. Let me just do that right now. Just add a little bit of water like that. That's, that was just a little bit of water, and I'll just make a little bit here on the hand here and you can see that it's that it's uh coming back and it's it's got this nice 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 creaminess nice body to it boy this stuff is wonderful like this here i mean i, I it's it's overflowing right now i mean it just it really is amazing boy this is good stuff and you can see it's got look at it's got this nice density to it look at that peak <laughs> it's got a nice density, a nice body to it. This is good stuff. $6.99 at River's Edge Cutlery, about $7.99 on Amazon for a four and a half ounce puck. It really is very, very good. I've been very, very impressed. Hang on, I got a little bit of lather there, and I got a little bit on my shoe. <laughs> I mean, lather, lather all over the place. It makes a lot of lather. You probably saw a little bit on my shirt and yeah, good stuff. Okay, now we're going to go with the aftershave. I'm going to go with one spray in the hand. That's <laughs> that's it. No more than that. One. That's it. That's all. Wait, maybe one more. Eh, let's just do one. Let's just do one. That's nice. That's agreeable. And right now, I'm gonna, let me just wait and see if it's, there's going to be any kick to it. Yeah, you know what? That's all I'm going. That's all I'm going to use. Really, that's got some kick. I can I can feel some kick coming in right now. That's all you're going to need. One spray, one pump. Boom! Throw it on your face, and you're good to go. I can feel it. I can feel it building right now. And it's just the right amount to where it's going to it's gonna start here. It's going to go up like this. Okay, and then it's going to drop. And yeah, that's that's got quite a kick to it. This has got a kick to it. 
the shave soap does not have that at all. Shave soap's got the beautiful bay rum scent, but it doesn't have this, this kick, this bay rum kick, this kind of warmth that comes on, over your face. It has a beautiful, calming, agreeable, uh, yogurty, beautiful cushion kind of feel. Really, really very, very nice. And that was what was so wonderful and surprising about it in that after I rinsed this aftershave off of my face, using it for a pre-shave, rinsing it off of my face, and there was still some, you know, some heat there, some kind of, I want to say burning, but you know, it's got a really, really warming sensation there. And the shave soap just, just, just calmed everything. Took it from here all the way down here. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And this still has... Uh, a kick to it. I can still feel it. And it's a, in a good way, but it's not going to, um, it's not going to be, uh, uh, boy, that's, and I, you know what it is? It's the skin toner that's kind of kicking in. There's a little bit of bracing going on there. That's what's going in. One spray. That's all you're going to need. Okay. Just so you know, if you get this stuff, one spray is all you're going to need. And, I am very reluctant. Now look how much I have here. I got too much of the Bay Rum balm here. Sterling, I gotta, I gotta learn to back off because Sterling really, you don't need a lot. And I end up putting a little too much based on using some other balms. Sterling, you can back off. Okay, that's rubbing into the face, into the skin nicely rather. And I'm, I, I'm really reluctant. You know, usually I'll carry it down from my head onto my face sometimes. No, I don't want that. I'm really enjoying this bracing now that I'm getting from the Bay Rum aftershave, from the Ogallala Bay Rum aftershave. Yeah, this is a nice feel now. Now it's it, it goes from here, goes all the way up here, and then there's this nice gradual descent. But boy, you get this really nice um, astringent, bracing, skin toning quality from it. Wow, is that good. One spray, that's all you need. <laughs> Don't use any more than one spray. Wow, great shave. My thanks to viewer Chuck Price for recommending Olga Lala Bay Rum Shave Soap. This was, is wonderful. I'm looking forward to my next shave with it. This is one that I am definitely gonna put in my rotation. I like it a lot, and it'll be a nice change of pace because I am going to be doing a uh, a face lather uh, because of it, because it works so well in this shave bowl. Now, I can probably take it out of the shave bowl and do a bowl lather, and I'm also going to do that as well, and build that up and get that into a nice creamy, yogurty kind of consistency. So, so I look forward to doing it that way as well, but man, oh man, what a nice shave. And this little guy, look at that. It's gone. <laughs> and then, like, wasn't that a great trick? Thanks to all the viewers who sent that one in. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. Absolutely great shave with the uh, Ogallala Bay Rum Shave Soap and Aftershave. It's also a pre-shave and a skin toner. Uh, a little bit goes a long way. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.